Ballistic X, the app that every shooter needs. Right now on Pirate Firearms and Reloading. video today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite apps for keeping track of your shooting, zeroing your firearms and just seeing how you're improving. I also find this very very helpful for load developments so I can go back and can track how my groups are going throughout the load development see where I'm seeing improvements and where I'm not. So it's this really cool app called Ballistic X. Uh, it is available for both Apple iPhones and Android and I believe you can even use it on a tablet as well. So I'm here in the Google App Store because I happen to have a Android phone. All Around is a fantastic app, so you can do all sorts of things and it basically talks you through all the setup here in the App Store. Now, I've already got it downloaded, so let's switch over and um, have a play around with it. So this is the app here. There's multiple settings you can play with over with the little gear cog icon over here. You can change between metric and imperial group sizes, all these sorts of little things. Um, there is an advanced toolkit as well if you have a, like a subscription with them. Um, you can have your units, MOA, mills, etc. So once you've selected all of your preferences here in the menu, just hit the X here and go back out, back to your main screen. Now, what you can do is you can either take a photo through the app or you can take a photo previously with your camera and then do the library. Personally, I prefer doing it through the library because on my phone you get a way more high resolution image by taking it just through the camera app than you do using the internal camera app within Ballistic X. Now that's probably different in every device, but for this purpose we're going to go into the library. I've selected the photo. This happens to be a small group I shot with my 300 blackout at about 100 meters with a red dot. So it's not the world's best group but it's something to work with here with the app. Now the most important thing to make this app work is allowing it to understand what one inch is in terms of this photo. So this happens to be really handy on this target. Each of these circular radiating lines are one inch apart. So that's going to make it really easy for me to select one inch. So what I'm going to do, you just move it around and you can do the two finger pinch to zoom trick. And I usually put the little green X just on the one side. You tap the next button, you come on over, do it as parallel as humanly possible and tap there again, next. Right, now it's gonna ask you how far away the target was. Really easy, whatever you set your distance to be in, for my case that was meters, it comes up and it defaults out at 100 meters. Now you can use the bar here along the bottom to scroll, or you can actually tap and you can use your keypad to type in 100. And then we're going to go next it will ignore the zero in the front too now you've got to select the caliber you are shooting so in my case with 300 blackout obviously it's a 308 diameter projectile so i'm going to select 308 i'm then going to tap next it's going to ask me now to set the point of aim so fairly obvious that's going to be the center of the target and in this case the center of the white dot i added to the target and then you press the set button. You'll now see that your point of aim is in the blue little cross here in the center of that white square. Now you'll notice you've got a little green circle here, which coincidentally is perfectly sized for 30 caliber. So I'm now going to go around and add impacts or, or add holes in the target. So pinch to zoom again and move it around until you have the green circle around your impact and then mark it and it will number them as well. Now the order of the numbers doesn't really matter unless you're trying to do that. Right, once you've added all your impacts you want to go ahead and hit next. Now it gives you a rundown of what was actually going on with your target. It gives you the overall group size, a little over two MOA, which I'm pretty happy with for a red dot. Gives you your overall width and height, 
and your ATZ. This is your alteration to zero. You can take that data there, 2.24 up and 0.18 right, and you can dial that straight into a scope, a red dot, depending on what level of adjustment you have per click. Obviously, if you had a um, quarter value turret, a quarter MOA turret, then you could dial pretty close to 2.24. The 0.18, you probably wouldn't be changing a whole lot. Now, once again, if you have a mill turret, you can change it over to mills and get your correction in mills. Once you've done that, you can hit down here where it says add overlay and you'll notice that you've got your target back but you've got this little box here up in the corner and this is all that same information just placed into a nice little graphic so what you can do is pinch and pull again and move this around somewhere where it's not obstructing your target like say there and you can see all the information you've got now the other thing you can do here is press add label and you can manually enter information. So I'm going to put 300 VLK prone unsupported. Now if I was doing a load development or I can't tell you what load that was off the top of my head, I would enter that information there. I do know it was subsonic so I will add that to the little list too. Now if I hit done you'll notice that little data output box got bigger and it's added that information that I have just typed in. I find this is really great for record keeping particularly in that load development stage but also it's good to keep track of your shooting. Finally we're going to hit export down here in the corner and it's going to think about it for a second and now we end up in the cropper. So what you can do is I like to do one to one gives you a nice square little image and we're just going to move that box just so we can get that last shot down the bottom in there so i've captured everything i've captured my point of aim all eight shots and the data provided by a ballistic x now i can go ahead and tap the tick button and it says it successfully exported it so now i'm going to find this in my phone's camera library now if you had more targets to do this little in the top left you've got the little reload or return symbol you can tap back there it takes you back to the start screen and away you go again the really cool thing about that too is it will remember your last distance and your last caliber size so if you're doing multiple targets from the same firearm you don't have to reset those every single time now we'll go back over here and on Android it's important to note it creates you a separate folder called Ballistic X um, and you can see I have definitely been using this. So if I tap in here, here's my final exported image with all the information I need plus a good visual of my group. So that folks is Ballistic X. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Catch you next time.